Hi everyone! In today's video I will show you a project that I made quite some time ago. So some of the products that I have used might not be available for sale or hard to find, but still I hope at least you will get some nice inspiration from this video. The journal in which I will be creating this page is from Ranger and Dina Weekly Media. You can see that some of the pages that are from this journal are made in 2019. But to be honest, I still love these pages and even more I like the techniques that I have used. So first let me show you the coloring mediums. This was Colorcraft Brusho in cobalt blue color and these are from Tonic Studios Nuo shimmer powders in blue bleeds and violet brocade colors. And I will be using these uh, pigment powders with one of my favorite techniques when it comes to the colored mediums using transparent foil or saran wrap, I think it's called as well. But of course before I start creating a colorful mess here let me protect my other pages. Now that my journal is ready and well protected, I will start applying these color pigments directly on the transparent foil. First I applied a little bit of brush oil, but now I will apply the shimmer powders for some extra shine. I am being quite generous with these powders as I wanted to cover almost entire page with the, the paint. When I have uh, placed enough powder, I will spritz some uh, clear water over them and that way I will activate the pigments. Now I have to really carefully turn over my uh, foil and apply the paint on the paper. Now for some extra background interest and texture, I was trying to create uh, a lot of wrinkles by pulling and stretching the foil as you can see. But uh, if you want a uh, more uh, plainly applied color, you can just try to straighten the surface of the foil. Now when I was happy with uh, my foil, I will set this aside to dry, naturally without using the heat gun. But in the meantime, I will start focusing on creating my focal point. The stamp that I will use for this video is from Pink Ink Designs, Dragonfly Wing Series. It's a really, really beautiful design. And as you can see, there is two dragonflies. And one of them has a separately, uh, separate stamps for the bodies of the dragonfly and for its wings. And that is the one which I'm going to use. For stamping, I will use stamping platform and VersaFine uh, ink pad in Onyx black color. There is uh, two stamps for the wings, one for the left and one for the right side, and I will stamp each of them twice, as I wanted to create some more dimension in the wing department, as you will see soon. Here you can see the stamped images with all eight wings. And for coloring I will use again uh, shimmer powders, but this time I also decided to use cherry bomb color. To make things more simple I will use a watercolor brush. 
No, I won't be making any fancy techniques for coloring. I will just try to blend in uh, two colors for nice transitional effects. And here I'm using again the same blue which I used for the background. That way the focal image will really fit nicely on the background. Of course, after coloring the images, I fussy cut them. And as I uh, always tend to do, I will use a brush uh, pen to go all over the cut edges to make the cuts neater. For this time, I am using Faber Castell brush marker in black color. Now let's go back to my background. As it got dry, the foil separated a bit from the background and here you can see really subtle but still very beautiful textures. Since a little bit of color stayed on the foil, I use it to stamp the color a bit. Here my son is pointing me to the areas where I missed the spot. And I will still dry it a bit before I add some more background texture and interest. This is uh, one of the really old stamps from Prima and I will stamp it with uh, Hero Hues white ink called uh, Unicorn from Hero Arts. This is a uh, pigment ink and it uh, really stays uh, nice and white and opaque against uh, this uh, watercolor background. Now, of course, I will uh, add some splatters, but uh, don't be confused by the packaging. This is uh, Windsor & Newton uh, ink in white color. Just uh, I broke the original packaging, so I just put the ink in a packaging of some cream that I had. And I chose to work with this ink because it also stays uh, quite opaque against the background. Now let's start creating the layout. As you see, this dragonflies has these really thin uh, legs and tentacles. So of course I just couldn't cut them out uh, with uh, fussy cutting. So instead I just cut it all off and I will stamping using uh, once again VersaFine uh, ink. This is uh, always a good way to solve fussy cutting these tiny tedious details. And of course I will uh, adhere the colored bodies of the dragonfly over this stamped area, but the tentacles and legs will still be seen. Now I will look at the stamp packaging for a reference how to properly ad adhere these wings. Except uh, that I will put two layers of wings for more dimension and I just think it looked pretty that way. For adhering I will use matte medium, this one is from Ranger, but honestly any paper glue would have worked just fine.
And uh, now you will see how it looks when all the elements are adhered. I think it turned out really pretty. And I really am happy with the decision to make two layers of wings. Here I will do something that now when I think about it might have been unnecessary. I will put these foam squares up between the layers of the wings, but honestly it's it was just not necessary. It helps keep some dimension, but uh, it can deform slightly the upper wing to the shape of the little square foam. Anyway, now I will again use the stamp set to add some mini tiny dragonflies as well. I mean, I could have called uh, this page done, just add a sentiment, but sometimes I just don't know when to stop. And here are my mini dragonflies. Perhaps I stamped too many of them, <laughs> not sure. Keep in mind this was from my earlier mixed media days. Perhaps I would have done this page a bit differently today, but honestly I still really love how it looks. Now some stenciling. This one is from Cadence. And uh, I will use a black ink with it, because I thought that these uh, small dragonflies uh, stand out uh, too much. So I wanted to add a little bit of frame to my page, plus some more dark details to blend in the small dragonflies better. Sorry that my stencil looks so messy with this uh, remaining red color on it, but it is a very delicate stencil and I left my paint too long on it and didn't clean it off in time and afterwards I was afraid to rub it too strong and destroy these delicate patterns. Anyway, as you can see, I ended up uh, not putting this pattern only on the edges, but kind of everywhere. Still, it's fine. You do what you want. I enjoyed the process, so I guess that's what matters the most. Now using a uh, black ink I'm further darkening the edges of my page. That was a step that I was always doing back in the day. I mean, I still do it sometimes today, just not always. It's a, I guess a matter of personal preference and the style of page that you go for. Of course, some more splatters, this time using a black color. And of course, a sentiment. And as I felt this dragonfly really magical, I decided to go with a very simple sentiment saying pure magic. Now this needed some more shimmer and shine, so I will use Nuvo Glitter Drops in uh, pink champagne color. And now some more embellishing with enamel drops from Marianne Design. These I, I think called dew drops. They are very flat, so that's one thing which I really like about them and just add a very subtle effect. And that was the last uh, detail for this page. I hope you enjoyed my process. Honestly, it was fun for me to look back on uh, those days when I was a beginner in mixed media, to think what I would have done differently nowadays, what I have learned, what I like. Anyway, I hope you learned something too, and that you got inspired. So thank you for watching, thank you for staying with me, and I hope you have a nice crafty day. See ya!